Sonny, welcome back to the Football Terrace, mate. Listen, uh, everyone tuning in, the like button. Please hit the share button as well. Mate, that's two defeats in two in, in, in the space of a week. And this one, it, it must be so embarrassing to lose it in that way to a team like Brighton when you were 1-0 up. What, what's your thoughts? You know, it's not embarrassing, Sel, because at the end of the day, embarrassing is when um, you wake up in the morning and you go to get dressed and you, and you, put, you put your partner's knickers on instead of your boxer shorts and go to work. That's embarrassing. Um, Arsenal not embarrassing. Uh, what Arsenal are, um, as in life, when you're desperate, right, your luck runs out, right? When, yeah. you're, when you're desperate, that next meal is very hard to find. When you're desperate, it's very hard to find a job if you're looking for a job. When you're desperate, it's hard to find love if you're looking for love. When you're desperate... And you're gagging for a fuck, you can't get one because because you're trying too hard, right? We're desperate, right? And when you're desperate, your time has run out and it's finished, right? And un unless there's change, right? It's not worth dissecting the players. It's not worth it's not worth cutting them up and dissecting them, doing autopsy on them. Because at the end of the day, um, it's beyond that. It's beyond yeah. that. And it's it's beyond it's been beyond that for years, right? And and you know what? As far as I'm concerned. Thank you, Arsenal, because now you're going to build my YouTube channel. I wish I'd done it ages ago. I would have been a rich man like Robbie, right? Um, I wish I'd done it ages ago, but thank you for the subs and sub from wherever. From, from whichever football club in the world um, you support, come follow my channel as well, because you're going to make me rich, right? That's all Arsenal are giving to me now, because as a football fan, they're not giving me nothing. Nothing, right? What's there to be disappointed about? A bang -bang piss off. You don't want to be here. Um, you, you, you play well today, though. I'll tell you something. Arsenal play, play well today. I don't care, right? They did play well today. But they played to their level. And their level is not good enough to beat Brighton. That's that, that's the cold, hard, hard facts of it. And you know what? It's a, it's a This club now, I tell you something, we're at a crossroads, right? We're not even at a crossroads. We, we're we at the edge of a cliff, hanging on by our shoelaces, right? Unless something drastic happens, right? Unless something drastic happens, I can see this football club falling out of the Premier League. Relegation? Yeah, it yeah, I, I can see relegation. Yeah, because because our kids are not ready, right? They're not buying good enough players, and they've got no money anyway to to buy the players they need, right? And you know what? None of these teams in the Premier League are mugs. And every game we play, regardless of whether you play in the top team, regardless of you play in some middle middle of the table, or you play, you're not going to get an easy game in the Premier League, especially if you are Arsenal. Mate, I, I hear that. I mean, what's your focus? A lot of Arsenal fans on socials are kicking off at um, Mbappe, what he did to Leno. Is that something that, of course, you're bothered your goalies got injured, but do you think that's a deflective tactic to, to move away from the fact that Arsenal was so poor? Um, uh, what, what, what do you make of that situation? Uh, there wasn't there wasn't a situation there, right? And, and what that guy said, right? Um, uh, uh, um, I don't even know who he is, brother. I'd say he can walk past me with his bright outfit on, right? With his name tag on his badge, on, on his chest. I still won't know who he is, right? He's a no one, right? Um, but let's get it right. When Arsenal went one new up, he turned around and said uh, um, uh, that Arsenal were giving it, they were giving it large, right? Who the fuck are you, Arsenal, to give it large against anyone? The fact that you went one new up. That's what he actually said. I don't know whether you missed it, Sel, because you was doing your stream. Yeah, who is that? Yeah, when they, when they interviewed, they interviewed um, the, goal, the the one who went in on Leno. Right? Okay. And, and what his actual words were, um, Arsenal were giving it a big one when they went, went, went one new up and they were, uh, the, the players were taking the piss because obviously they can hear everything what's being said now because there's no fans, right? Uh, and, and, he, and, he, and he said, you know what? They've got what they deserved because, 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 because um, basically they've given it a big one and now they've, they've just got, come and got bitch slapped. Well, it says here, he said that um, someone put the comment up, said Arsenal players need to learn humility and, and maybe sometimes... Um, do you know what? The thing is, I don't like to. It's an interesting one, really, because I, I think we we do this sometimes in in life. We we like to focus on something that isn't important uh, to paper over the cracks of, of real issues. And I felt that the whole Leno situation was that. You know, it was it was a, it was a, it was a it was a cheeky little push. He had no intention of busting the guy's knee, and an accident happened. What, what I get frustrated with with fans is how they're focusing on that now. And they're focusing on that push. And I'm thinking, hang on, how many late tackles happen per game? How many pushes and pulls? How many times do goalkeepers each season smash through attacking players to catch balls in the air? The only time we care about it is when someone we'd like gets hurt. And it, for me, it's a load of old nonsense. It's, for me, we, it's just weak, weak mentality by so many Arsenal fans again and again and again. It really, really is. Sonny, where's you... Terry, can I just say one thing? Right? I'm sorry to cut your point. Please don't forget your point. Can I just say... When a, fan, when a fan comes on a fan cam, right, 
and he totally berates his club and slags them off, right? And you go in on that person, regardless of who it is on whoever's channel or on whatever, right? Uh, right? They're the fans who it hurts, and they're the fans who it means thanks to, right? All the ones who are going in on anybody who, who's got the balls to go on social media and turn around and slag the, the club you love off, right? Uh, and then get slated for it. It serves you right now, right? That you've got this, right? It serves you right, and I hope it fucking hurts you, right? I hope it fucking hurts you. And you wake up, and anyone who's still who's still defending them, you you're not forget being a football fan and Arsenal fan. You're not even human, mate. Sonny, thank you very much, mate, for coming on. We'll chat to you again soon, my bro. Cheers for what you said there, top man. Love you too.